what if I told you guys that there's a game in the metaverse where you can play to earn and easily make between 30 to $75 per day? You guys can see here in my play to earn rewards, I have earned 2,500 ICE tokens, which amounts to $325.93 in one week. Stretch that out over a month, and that's about $1,300 per month playing poker in the metaverse. This is more than what most professional small stake poker players make monthly. A quick Google search here will show you that most small stakes players can make between $100 to $500 per month, and at higher stakes, then they're making between $750 to $2,000 per month. And if you're playing live at the casino, then a good player is probably making maybe around $20 an hour. If you divide that by $1,300, which is what I'm expected to make this month, that's around 65 hours that they would have to be playing and winning without a downswing to make the same amount of money. Did you catch the key difference there? If they don't have a downswing, because in poker, downswings happen. Guess what? In ice poker, there is no such thing as a downswing. There is absolutely zero risk when playing ice poker because we're not risking our own hard earned money. And I speak from experience, guys. I played poker at my local casino for about a year straight and I was a pretty good player and never was I able to consistently make over a thousand dollars in profits per month. In other words, Decentral Games Ice Poker is game changing. This is literally the best play to earn game in the entire metaverse. And the best part is that you can actually begin earning money without an upfront investment. We'll touch more on that later. There's already countless success stories out there of people being able to make a living just playing off of ice poker doing over a thousand dollars a month in countries where their average income is under a thousand dollars a month. This gentleman here that I spoke with and wish to remain anonymous even was able to pay off his tuition fees by playing ice poker. So with all that said, let's talk about what exactly is ice poker, what is the central games, where you can play and how you can get started. So ice poker was created by the central games. ICE is a free play, play to earn token and in-game currency utilized in the Decentral Games ecosystem to incentivize metaverse poker player liquidity. Decentral Games also has blackjack, roulette, and slots. If you choose to, you can actually go to Decentraland and play at these Decentral Games casinos and, you know, try your luck to see if you guys can win some real life money. But when it comes to gambling for me, I always like to, you know, have an edge. I want to be the house. I want to make sure that I always win money or at least give myself the best possible opportunity to always make money. That is what ice poker is. In ice poker, you can win real money by completing daily challenges and competing against each other in a free to play poker game. Now, there is one thing that is needed for you to be able to play ice poker. In order to participate, players need to obtain at least one exclusive ice NFT wearable either through purchase or delegation. So what exactly does that mean? Here we are back in my profile and you can see here I have two iced wearables. You'll notice here one is delegated and the other is not. So what exactly does that mean? If we look on the secondary market for Decentral Games Ice Poker NFTs, you'll see that the floor price right now on these NFTs is 1.25 Ethereum. So if we do some quick math right now, you'll see that's about $5,800 in order to be able to buy a wearable on the secondary market so that you can play ice poker. Now, some of you will probably have the upfront investment to be able to buy one of these wearables. And for those who don't, I'll explain to you how you can still get a wearable and play ice poker. First of all, for those of you interested in possibly buying a wearable, you'll see that prices have been going up. 
What I did was I waited for a small dip and I bought my first wearable for about 0.75 Ethereum. That was around $3,300 at the time. Then to get my second wearable, I was able to mint it for 0.25 Ethereum. That's about $1,200. So if I get the same NFT wearable that I bought for about $1,200 and I look at the last one sold, look at this, the last one was sold for $6,000, guys. That's about a five times return on my upfront investment. And if I look for the original NFT that I bought, you'll see that now it's selling for about 1.2 Ethereum or around $5,600. Remember, I bought mine for $3,300. But right now, I'm more focused on the long term of this project as this is a brand new project, guys. It's only been up and running for about a month now. You can see in this post here by Miles that if you minted an ICE NFT for 0.25 Ethereum, which is around $1,200, and you play yourself and average around $50 per day, that is 1,421% APR, or about $18,000 a year, $1,500 a month. Guys, that's an extra $18,000 a year playing free poker in the metaverse. So that means that even if you buy an NFT at the current floor price of 1.25 Ethereum or $5,800 in one year, if conditions remained the same, you would earn three time return on your money. So now let's talk about delegation, how it works. How can you play ice poker if, if you don't currently have $5,800 to buy an NFT wearable? So let's take a look at this thread by 50 Sat Finance. He's lending out his NFTs and he's making between two to $3,000 per month. So if you don't have the money to buy a NFT wearable, what you can do is find an owner who already has an NFT wearable, who maybe doesn't have the time to play or is just looking to make some passive income and have them delegate you their NFT wearable. That's how you play with no upfront cost. So if I hit delegate right now on the NFT that I'm currently using to play, you will see that I can delegate this wearable. This lets another player play to earn with my item. This earns me 30% of all ice profits from their gameplay. And of course, I can withdraw my delegation at any time. So if I delegate you my wearable, you can play to earn ice poker and you will earn 70% of all your winnings and I will earn 30% of all your winnings. So if my delegate is earning $50 per day, which is $1,500 per month, I'm passively making $450 per item that I am delegating out. While my delegate is earning $1,050 per month without no upfront investment. All NFT lending and profit sharing is handled through smart contracts. So you have to do absolutely nothing. It is true passive income if you're the one delegating it and you're just plain to earn, which takes about two to three hours a day if you're being delegated. You can see here from Chris, the DeFi donor who also created a video on this. He's lending out one of his NFTs to a kid in Argentina so that he can earn ice by playing poker in the metaverse. You can see that he earned $33 USD in 51 minutes. In Argentina, the average hourly wage is only $1.89. And by Chris delegating out his wearable, he also made $14 without doing a thing. This is what the challenges look like and what it looks like once you complete all your challenges. Guys, this is just the beginning. We're literally on the ground floor right now with this project. This is a time to get in before things take off even further. You will see that Decentral Games has just surpassed over 6,000 daily active users. Everything here is transparent. You can see exactly what their treasury is holding and how they're earning their profits. If you're wondering how they can just continue to pay out players for basically playing to earn for free, it's because they are earning income themselves. They earn income in everything from Decentral Games wearables to providing liquidity, ICE wearable sales, and of course their casino where, where they actually make money from people gambling real money. And don't forget that every time that someone resells their NFT wearable in the secondary market, they again make another fee off of that. So this is how they're able to continue paying out 
players who are playing to earn. So now you understand how this works and you're ready to play. So the first thing you need to go is go to Decentraland. You can just Google Decentraland and the website is Decentraland.org. Just hit on that. It will take you to this screen. You could just hit get started. Once you're here, the way that you sign into Decentraland is through your MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to hit continue with wallet and I'm going to hit MetaMask. You just hit sign in on MetaMask and now it begins to load up. Very, very simple. If it's your first time, you will have to create your avatar first before you begin playing. So once you're loaded in, it'll look something like this. This is my little guy here, as you can see. Does it look like me? I don't know, I tried. But what you can basically do once you're here, you can either go right here and click where it says Decentral Games uh, Play to Earn Ice Poker, or you can hit down here on the right-hand corner where it says Explore, hit Places, and then go to where it says Ice Poker Lounge and just hit Jump In. So this is what it looks like once you load up into the Poker Lounge. In order to play, the first thing you need to do is remember, you need to have a wearable on. So if you haven't bought a wearable, you need to either buy one or get delegated to find someone who's looking to delegate you a wearable. You just have to go to the Decentral Games Discord server. I'll post a link to their server in the description below. Once you either buy a wearable or find someone that delegates your wearable to do to do that, you simply click on your profile here and click where it says backpack, go to whatever wearable it is that you have. For me, it's these shoes and just put them on. Once you've done that, then you're ready to go. On the bottom right, you're going to notice that says a daily ice challenges and tournament. So this is all the important stuff that you're going to need to know about completing the challenges every 24 hours. Currently, this resets every day at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can see that you have a live countdown here saying two hours remaining. And then here are my three challenges. So the first challenge, it doesn't tell you, but it's basically winning your first hand. That gives you about five ice tokens. Then the challenges go from easy to hard. So the easiest one is see the turn 15 times. You'll see that by doing that, I will earn 25 ice tokens. The medium challenge is win the hand 10 times. So you see that that one pays out 100 ice tokens. And the hardest one is get a flush one time. You see that that one will pay out 200 ice tokens. So in total, that's about 325 ice tokens that you can earn every single day. At current ice prices, as you guys can see, See here that equates to about $45 but here's where it gets interesting you can actually make more than this and that works through the ice multiplier you can see here where it says daily leaderboard and the percentile that you need to be within in order to either add on to the multiplier or even get less so the better you do the better you play the more chips you win the higher the multiplier, the highest multiplier is 2x. So in reality, you can win up to 650 ice tokens every single day, which equates to around $91 per day max that you can win. So what this multiplier does is that it keeps people from just going all in every single hand, regardless of what they have. You have to now be a lot more disciplined at the game because if you lose all your chip, then your multiplier goes down to 0.3. That means that if you complete all your challenges for 325 ice tokens plus the extra five ice tokens, but you lose all your chip, instead of earning 325 tokens, you will actually only earn 99 ice tokens. So this is great because players need to actually play for real you actually have something on the line versus when you play without anything on the line. It makes the game a lot funner and a lot more competitive. So you can see that I'm currently in the top 10 percentile because I've won 2,875 chips today. So in order for me to get to the top five percentile, I just gotta win 3,320 chips. Then once I complete everything, I'll be able to get the maximum amount of ice tokens that I could earn for the day. And that's honestly pretty much it. That's all you need to know to get started. You just have to walk up to an empty table and uh, and start playing, start earning chips and start making some money by truly playing to earn. You can do this every 24 hours and guys, you can easily make over a thousand dollars a month just playing yourself or you can easily make around anywhere between 450 or more per wearable that you're delegating out to other players. 
So that's why it's good to delegate it to good players who are consistent and are completing these challenges every single day. This is honestly an unreal opportunity that has never been seen before in this space where you can really make money just playing poker for free and really not risking any of your own money in order to win and make that money. If you get really good at it and make the maximum every single day, you can easily be doing $2,500 to $3,000 a month by playing this, guys. I don't know if you guys have wrapped your head around what this opportunity is yet and the reality of how much you can actually make playing this game. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions for me about anything that was covered here, make sure to drop it in the comments. I'm always happy to help, happy to get you guys started. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, of course, guys, subscribe, turn on notifications. We're always posting new stuff like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.